Hi, my name is Wakar Hassan, and today I'm looking for an investment of 75,000 for 20% equity in my business, Bookcase. Uh, it's a design-led brand that specialises in handcrafted cases for tablet computers and smartphones. Everything we make is handcrafted in the UK by a team of master bookbinders using locally sourced materials. So from the outside it looks like a book, feels like a book, but when you actually open it up, inside is a tablet computer. As you can see, Norman is producing a case using a traditional book bindery process. He's using traditional tools uh, and uh, it takes approximately five to ten minutes to make a case. So what I've done is I have personalised some cases for you so you can have a, a good look at the product. There you go. A composed pitch from Manchester-based product designer Waka Hassan. He wants £75,000 for 20% of his company selling British-made hand-crafted cases for tablet computers and smartphones. Design guru Kelly Hoppen is first to question the creative entrepreneur. The bit about your pitch I love the most is the fact it's made in Britain. Thank you. Which uh, I admire and I think is fantastic. You're going to make these all handmade and bespoke. Mm -hmm. How are you going to create the volume? Uh, it depends on the, how many required to make. At the moment, the bookbinder is capable of making uh, 250 units a week. That's just from one bookbinder. The cradles itself are very easy to make. And is the, that wood, the cradle? Uh, yes, it's made out of birch plywood. It's the best quality birch plywood you can get. And uh, they're actually manufactured by myself and we use jigs. It takes me roughly 20 minutes to make one. And I'm just using hobbyist equipment. If I used industrial grade equipment, I can make them a lot faster. Wacker, hi, I'm Pierce. Hi. I mean, I, I, I like products like this. You've done a great job here. You've, Use your initiative, you know, made your jig, you made the wooden piece. I mean, I, I've just unfortunately broken the end off there by mistake. But there are little things like the rubber here, which looks a bit sort of untidy, if you don't mind me saying. And it's not, it's not leather. Okay. My point I'm making, if I boil it down actually, mm -hmm. is that the finished product mm -hmm. isn't quite what it could be. Okay. Well, these could be developed. Um, I've, I've, the, the units that I've sold up to, stay, up to now, I've had no issues from any customers. Every customer has loved it. So I must be doing something correct if people are, are liking the product. Michael, what's, what is your background? Uh, I'm a product designer uh, and I'm a teacher. What kind of products? Uh, I design all sorts of products. I've designed medical equipment, I've done uh, small accessories, uh, and I'm currently working on two other concepts as well at the moment. So this is just one of the ideas that I've got. So how are you earning a living? I'm a teacher. So oh, right, you're still teaching. High school. Yes. When customers receive the case, they get uh, a little insert that says how to insert the case. To insert this for me, how does this insert? Okay. So you slide in from the top, and then it clips in, there you go. Okay, I understand. Okay, you understand? That is something we can develop. What, but that it fits? So it, it does fit, but it just it does slip. Oh, Wacker, that's awful. You're trying to sell a premium product, and it doesn't even work. Okay. Come on, give me something more than just okay. D defend your product. You, you've got to it's, be. This is awful. I've not had any customers complain to me saying it slipped out up to now. Oh come on! Look, it doesn't even stay in. Okay. It can be developed. We can fix it. No, that. but you can't sell a product like that. Right. You can't put a product on a market that says, you know, I need to develop it, but by the way, pay the premium price, uh -huh. and in six months when I get the product right, come and buy another one at a premium, and hopefully it'll work because I'm developing it. But because I make it in Britain, you should be all right with that. Mm -hmm. The product is, is inadequate okay. and not fit for purpose. Okay. A, a lot of products, when they first are launched, they do have teething problems. What? You've, you've created something to fit a tablet in it yeah. and it doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. Is that a teething problem or is that back to ground zero? A major flaw has been discovered in this otherwise intriguing product. Duncan Bannatyne has heard enough. Um, I'll tell you where I am. I'm out. Okay, thank you, Duncan. Ah, Carl, that was absolutely fatal. And unfortunately, your response just wasn't good enough because you didn't look horrified, which presumably means you've seen it before. 
you then say, yes, but we can work on it. Mm -hmm. You can't just work on something that fundamentally doesn't do the thing that you're selling it to do. I mean, that's, that's mm -hmm. awful. This is the easiest decision not to invest I think I've ever made on Dragon's Den. I shut my book up the minute, Peter, it fell out of there. I shut my book up, put it down there. I thought that's the end of it. So I won't be investing. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. Two incensed dragons have walked away from the deal. It's time for Kelly Hoppen to pass her verdict. I wrote down on a piece of paper, fantastic when you first walked, on, walked in, saw somebody making something by hand. Mm -hmm. You then tell me it's British made, fantastic. Music to my ears. As it went by and I picked it up, I just put poor quality. Okay. And then when Peter picked it up and it fell out, that was my decision. Mm -hmm. And it's a real shame. And the fact that you are a product designer, you have to be able to go through and tick all the boxes before you put something out to sell. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I wish you luck. I hope you can sort it out, but I'm afraid I'm out. OK, thank you for your time. Two dragons remain. Can Piers Linney and Peter Jones see beyond the flaws and spot potential in Wacar's bookcase brand? Love the traditional skills, but you haven't applied them in, in a product that's viable. So, for that reason, I'm out. All right, thank you, Peter. It's clearly back to the drawing board because the product doesn't hold... It's not fit for purpose, basically. Over-engineered, but you're onto, a, you're onto something. Mm -hmm. But on that basis... OK. I'm out. All right, thank you, Peter. Despite a promising start to his pitch, Wakar leaves the den with no cash investment but advice from the dragons to go back to the drawing board. I don't know what happened. They started to find flaws in the product and really started uh, taking it, well, you know, picking all the negatives. 